How's it going, everybody? Doing an, well, not an, doing a drink review and eating of it here today. I'll be reviewing the uh, Rain Energy Drink uh, White Gummy Bear flavor. I'm actually interested in how this one tastes. Um, that's the one you saw, you would have seen in the Big Lots Hall video. And I'll be eating some Reese's Pieces as well. Uh, you probably have seen me with this mark in the past. I get this mark here. I don't know if anyone else has ever gotten. Like a, it's almost like a little, almost like a bruise. I don't know if sometimes when I sleep, if my nose gets a little clogged, like this causes discoloration up here or something. And I get like a little bruise. I don't know, but it appears from time to time. <laughs> it's actually been, that's been happening for a long time too, so. Anyway. Um, if anyone points it out, it's like, what the hell? Um... But yeah, let's get into this. That's pretty good. It's almost like a, uh, like a vanilla-ish taste. It's so sweet. It's pretty good though. Kind of like it. Yeah. It's like a. I've had something that tasted like this before. It might have been another energy drink. Actually, I probably have had other vanilla flavored energy drinks. It has a vanilla flavor, but it's like. I'm trying to think what that is. It's almost like a little. Oddly enough, I'm getting hints of strawberry. That can't be, though. You know, I try to look on the ingredients here, but uh, the ingredients are always just the random crap. And, uh, like, natural flavors. <laughs> they won't tell you what they are, but... Either way, it's pretty good. Actually, yeah, I'm getting, like, a cream... It's some kind of, like, even a strawberry vanilla cream type taste. It's good, though. I like that. White gummy bear. Like, I didn't know. Like, I don't know what that's going to taste like. <laughs> I could be completely off, of course. I feel like I've had another one that tastes, some kind of drink that's tasted similar to this. Like I said, a lot of these tend to start to taste the same over time. It's funny, actually, I did the Prime Energy review, and I said it was four bucks at 7-Eleven, and someone commented, and they were like, yeah, uh, that's a, that's a kind of a ripoff, I, you know, you can get it for two fifty at Walmart, and then it's funny enough, I was in the Stop and Shop um, today, when I got these Reese's Pieces, well, yesterday, this is going up Friday, um, they get the Reese's Pieces, and by the, the self-checkout, I went, you know, I go to self-checkout, and... I saw a little thing stand, and it had prime energy drinks in it. It was, uh, I think it was orange mango and uh, the, the blue raspberry, and they were like 270 I was like, never seen those there before, so I might have to try to get that orange one from there if they still have some. Unless they have them elsewhere, because I didn't see them in the energy drink section. Unless they're somewhere else. That's the thing with supermarkets, like... They'll have, like, stuff randomly placed, it's usually on, like, end caps of aisles or, like, in the middle of the bigger front and back aisles. It's just, like, a, a thing in the middle, a stand with some crap on it. You're like, what? <laughs> anyway, Reese's Pieces are always good. I've, had, I've done eating videos with these in the past. at least get a, a good idea of what that tastes like because now I'm eating the complete opposite in chocolate.
Um, I didn't realize this. I'm not that I would have really been aware of it. They're doing a fr Five Nights at Freddy's movie. <laughs> I did not uh, realize that. I was watching a trailer earlier today. I'm like, did maybe off the video games. I played some of the first one. It was just, I don't know if they're all the same, but you're like the security guard and you had to keep an eye on the cameras and like the animatronic animals start appearing. Pretty creepy. But I know a lot of people love it, the series. I think there's maybe like four or five of those games, or maybe more. And they seem to be excited about the movie as well. Which is always good to see. Checking out a trailer for a movie Cobweb with Lizzie Kaplan and Anthony Starr. Looks pretty creepy. Um, and the Talk to Me movie comes out soon. That looks decent and a little slightly original. Involved possession, but a different way of getting possessed. I'm going to go an 8 on this one. I do like this one. I like the creamish flavor. Like a vanilla, a strawberry cream, whatever the hell it is. Um, it's pretty good, though. The thing with these... I don't, if, oddly enough, I don't hate a lot of these. I don't, I don't really feel like I've hate, hated any of them. Maybe a few I didn't like, but... I feel like most of them I've thought were pretty decent, these energy drinks. The orange cream sickle one, which I think was the rain as well, was really good. I think Ghost had the orange one too that I liked, and that, I think it was the Ultra Rosa. Is that Monster? I think it was that one. That one was, one of them was really good. I think it was that one. Um, like I said, I should have been like jotting these down in my mind. So maybe I could do like a top five at some point, but the problem is you end up so far down where I'm like, I don't know anymore. <laughs> There's so many of them. Some cheese sales this weekend. Like I've said, it has not been a good season at all. You know. And it started out all right. I hit those six games, you know, three dollars a piece. It's not like it was a fantastic deal, but it was a nice price for the six games. Um, and they were like, was it the PSP, the Tony Hawk? which I had sold on eBay a couple of weeks ago. It was a Project 8, I think. Uh, the Sims game, the other PSP game, which wasn't the one. I think it was Juice 2 that was in there, in the case, but the case is like MTX, MT, it wasn't MT, is it MTX versus ATV? I forget. And then the uh, Tiger Woods 04 on the GameCube, Slugfest, and that PS2 game, Beach Raiders or something. Oddly enough, the, Sp the Slugfest game is the one that had the value. I think that was the 03? There's another one, maybe it was 04 or it's vice versa. I don't know which one I have, I gotta, I'd have to look. But the other one is actually even more valuable. Not, I'm not saying they're like $100 games, but I think the one I got is like 20 bucks. It could sell for 2025, which, you know, for sport games, and once again, it's an arcade-style sport game. A lot of people don't realize. Uh, that's why sometimes you get lucky at 
at garage sales, and it's happened to me where I remember I did a pickup. In, excuse me. The garage sale pickup bid. It was last year I'd gotten, I think it was like 11 games, some dollar piece. It had a bunch of stuff, and I think Wheelman for the 360 was in there. I, I grabbed the Madden, I think it was 20. For the Xbox, I think Jaws, Unleashed, PS2, Tekken 4, PS2, and NFL Street, I think it was NFL Street 2, was there as well. Um, which was a sport game I got. I think I got Blitz on the PS1, another PS1 game, Sonic Colors was a disc only couple other things as well um but i think i had mentioned in that video when i went to the other woman i was like oh yeah somebody was here before getting games and i was like oh man what did, what i miss you know but then part of me is like yeah look at this and, and the funny thing is like tekken 4 has some value um it's the nfl street 2 has solid value especially against the dollar i mean almost any game has value against the dollar but why wouldn't they have grabbed this, the NFL Street? Now, they might have just been buying to collect. But I don't think a lot of people, oh, they end up doing that. Like, I will do half and half these days. I don't admit, you know, I, have, I sell stuff. I get a G sales. I keep stuff, too. You know, it depends. Whatever. Um, because people, the people will let the, the, they think all sport games are useless. And they're not. That's the thing. Sometimes I get lucky. I think last summer I got the first two NFL Streets. The NFL Streets, and once again, they're not. This isn't I get NFL Street 2 for a buck and it sells for $200 or I'm keeping 50 bucks. Because that one didn't have the manual either. Those arcade sport games do well and if you're getting them in the wild as they say especially if you're getting a garage as I should say because if you're getting them at a video game retro store you're not paying a dollar you're gonna get them for cheap garage sales and they're gonna make money if you sell them and once again they're not gonna make tons of money but The arcade style ones, the street games, at least NBA streets and the NFL ones. I don't know if the FIFA, I don't know how many FIFA ones they made. I don't know if those do, but the NFL Blitz games have a little bit of value. The Tecmo Bowl games have value, and they're, I mean, they all have an arcade style to them. It's not like a Madden. But they're not like, it, it's a simulation game. It's not like NFL Blitz or NHL Hits and Slugfest and all that. But apparently the Slugfest games as well. I don't know if the NHL Hits ones do or not. <clears throat> but, you know, you can't, you gotta, if you're going to G sales for, you know, you try to resell some stuff. Um, I'll be on the lookout for those kind of games because if people get there before you, a lot of times I'll let them, they'll just sit there because people see sport games and they think they're useless. Even on the WWE games as well, WWF. Before it became WWE and like WCW, ECW, whatever. A lot of those will have a little bit of value too. Not a ton, but not bad. But yeah. This is a uh, drink review here. I liked it because I finished it. Uh, I'd go an eight on this rain white gummy bear. This is a solid one for sure. And, uh, 
eating some Reese's Pieces. I do not want to eat the whole box. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for checking this out, and have a good day.